The more I go down this rabbit hole that is Emacs, the more I discover customization options and extensibility options that I didn't know existed and, and quite frankly amaze me. Now one of the big features of Emacs of course is org mode and there are so many Emacs programs, extensions, plugins that you can build around org mode. One of the most common org tools is the org agenda. You can think of it essentially as your org mode scheduling application where you create to-do lists, you create your agenda for the week or the day or the year, whatever it happens to be. Now for me, I'm not a scheduler. I don't like scheduling myself tasks to be completed by a certain amount of time. I don't work that way. I've never worked that way. I, I, I typically take things as they come. I find that works for me. I know a lot of people have to keep schedules. Like, like that's how they work. That's how their brain is wired, right? And that's it, their workflow. In some cases, their entire life demands that they set a schedule for themselves and keep that schedule. And because of that, those kinds of people especially are going to love something like Org Agenda. Now, Org Agenda has some customization options that I've been exploring for the past few days, and I want to share a little bit of what I've discovered. So let me go ahead and open Doom Emacs here. So Doom Emacs, of course, is a distribution of Emacs that I prefer to use. It uses the evil key bindings. So uh, all of your standard Vim key bindings work, of course, in Doom Emacs. And I'm going to go ahead and let me open my Doom config. My config is my config.org. So it's an org file. And in my, if I go to the top, I've got a table of contents here. You'll find my Doom Emacs config on my dot .files repository on my GitLab. But I've tried to organize things in a nice orderly fashion. It's a literate config. If you go to org mode, there's several subsections here. One of them is org agenda, where I basically set a location for this agenda file. The agenda.org is what I've named it. I could have named it. In anything I could have placed it in any folder right now I have it in NC which is a next cloud folder that's synced between uh, various machines of mine that way I've got the same agenda no matter if I'm at the office or you know at home or whatever so I've, I've got a lot of things that sync to a next cloud server and uh, slash org slash agenda dot org so that is my org agenda file like do a vertical split here I'll show you the uh, agenda dot org so do a quick search if I can spell agenda correctly. So this is an example of an agenda.org file. So the way an agenda file works is, as, or anything that where you're setting a to-do list, they have to be uh, header levels in an org file. So my to-do list was a top level header, right? A single asterisk, and then I typed my to-do list. Let me hit enter, and I'm going to do two asterisks for a second level header and if I want to prepend this with some kind of to do tag such as to do you can see it changes the font a little bit it's like a compressed kind of font it also changes the color and so this is a to do item and item one for example and then if I hit control enter I get another second level header with already a to do tag on it and item two now let me write that and if I hit space O capital A here in Doom Emacs I get the agenda menu you see that split at the bottom where I have various uh, keys I could press to get different views of an agenda and the first one a is the agenda for the current day or the week if I hit a there is my agenda for this week now nothing is here it's a 10 day agenda but I don't have anything here and the reason I don't have anything here if I go back to my agenda.org is because I didn't actually specify a time for any of these obviously they can't be on my agenda of the week until I give them some kind of time now if I do meta X and I do org timestamp so space mdt is the key binding or i could just hit enter here and i get this calendar in a bottom split here and this horizontal split and in the calendar either with the mouse or the keyboard i could select a date to schedule one of these items maybe item one here needs to be done on the sixth so there is the timestamp let me put a little space there i'll write that and now if i do space o capital A to get to the agenda menu and A one more time for agenda for the current day or week. Now you see on Friday the 6th, 
there is to do item one. Now one neat thing you can do with org agenda is you can set these to do items to have a uh, priority. So uh, for example, this very first to do item, item one that I set for tomorrow, I scheduled for tomorrow, I can give it a priority. If you don't know the uh, command for setting a priority, you could do meta X and search for org, uh, org dash priority now do me max has a key binding for it space m p p so i'll use the key binding space m p p and i get this question here at the bottom priority a through c space to remove so you have three priority levels a is the highest b is the second highest and c is the lowest priority i'm going to give this the highest priority so i'll do a capital a and now you see I have this flag in front of item one. Easily lets me know that that has the highest priority. I can actually change that icon if I want to something else, and we may do that in just a second. But let me go ahead and write that. I'm gonna do space, uh, space O, capital A, and then lowercase a to get to the uh, agenda view here. And now you can see that to do item also has the little flag in front of it, letting me know that's a high priority item. If I go back to the previous buffer with space B, P for buffer previous, let me go ahead and set the priority for this. So remember the key binding space M, P, P for priority. I'll set this priority for B or the, the middle priority, right? And you see it has an icon here, this arrow here. And let me write that. I'm going to do space O capital A, lowercase a again. And it doesn't appear in this view because, again, we didn't give that second item a date. But there are other agenda views. If I do space O capital A and then looking at the list, T for list all to-do items, so these don't have to be a specific date. This is to-do items, whether they've got a date or not. So this is just a list view of all your to-do items that are in your agenda.org. And you can see there are both items, and you can see they've got the priorities, and we've got the timestamp next to the one that is scheduled. Now, so far, this is all kind of standard stuff with org agenda. But what I wanted to do is I, I've seen some people with screenshots on the Internet where they had their like 10 day agenda here, you know, the standard agenda view here where they've had it broken up into different categories based on priority, based on custom tags and things like that. And I wanted to customize this view of my agenda here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new agenda.org file with various priorities and various custom tags. That way uh, I'm all set for, for customizing this view based on those priorities and tags. So I'm going to do space BP for previous buffer to go back to my agenda.org here. And let me go ahead and delete all of that. And I'm going to go ahead and have a new section. I'm going to call it high priority to do items. And then let's go ahead and create a second level header. And I'm going to give this a different to do tag instead of to do. I'm going to give it this tag here video because in my uh, config.org I have a variety of to do kind of tags and one of them is video because I plan on scheduling a video for today and the video is going to be about org agenda. Let's go ahead and do the uh, timestamp as well. So what was this timestamp key binding space MDT? And then we've got the calendar. It's already highlighting today for the date, which is actually the correct date. So I just need to hit enter on that and then control enter to get a new second level header right below this one. And then the video for tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about the latest DTOS or something tomorrow. I don't. That's not actually probably what I'll do tomorrow, but space MDT. Let's get a timestamp and let me get down uh, into the calendar here. If I do shift and then the arrow keys, I'll shift over to Friday the 6th and I'll get the timestamp there. It still doesn't space that out the way I want it. And then I'll schedule a video for Saturday. Saturday, I actually do have something scheduled. I'm going to do uh, a collab with dark zero of zero Linux. So space MDT. Let me go ahead and get the date on that and get the timestamp there so that these are all going to be high priority to do items. But of course, I did not set them for high priority. How do I set them for high priority? Move the cursor to the item. And what was the key binding to set the priority space MPP? And it's going to ask what priority, and I'm going to do A, which is the highest, then move down a line, space MPP, A, and then move down a line, space MPP, A. So they have all been set to the highest priority items here. And then I could do some uh, medium priority to do 
items as well and then create a second level header here and this will just be a standard to do kind of item I don't know maybe I need to uh, do some grocery shopping or something I don't know <laughs> we'll do that and we can do that with a, a timestamp as well we'll do that timestamp for today because I probably do need to pick up some stuff from the grocery store today and then let's go ahead and set the medium priority which will be the B priority right so space MPP and then B for its priority and let's go ahead create another to do item and maybe also this week I need to I don't know mow the yard which I don't need to do it's winter time but we're just gonna create something here and let's go ahead and I'll schedule that for tomorrow here the to do item and then let's give it a, a priority so space M P P and then capital B to give it a B priority maybe that's all I want to do for this and then let's do some low priority and for the low priority to do items I just copied these down here but I need to change the priority level so space MPP these will be C priority levels so space MPP C space MPP C and you can see the icon for the C is just the the green little box and you can see the icon for the medium priority the B level is the arrow and then of course we still have the red flags for the highest priority so now that I've got that in my agenda.org let me write that I'm going to go back to my Doom Emacs config and let's go ahead and configure org agenda a little more. So I'm going to uh, create some space here. So I'm going to go ahead and do set queue. Set queue is your uh, assigning a value to a variable here. The variable, you could look this up in the documentation, but I'm going to do org dash agenda dash custom dash commands. Then I'm going to do a uh, new line here. And for sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste this here instead of having to type it all out but what I have done here is the org agenda custom commands allows you to break down your org agenda view into different categories based on some parameters such as tags so tags and you could have any kind of custom tags out to the side of any item for example I could tag this with I don't know something <laughs> I don't know some word right some single word you know wrapped in colons that's a tag and you could actually search your agenda based on a tag well you already have three default tags and that's the priority a priority B and priority C tags so you can see I'm gonna split my org agenda tags priority a that's the highest priority and I'm gonna give it a title high priority unfinished tags I know this is a little hard to read in the split view. Let me close uh, this frame here. Yeah, that should be much easier to see what I'm doing. So we're going to split things based on the tag for priority A, the tag for priority B, the tag for priority C, some of the other stuff we're going to do, org agenda skip function. I don't want you to list every to-do item on my org agenda. So if it's a to-do item that I've marked as done, meaning I've completed it, I really don't need to see it in that org agenda view. So if it's marked as done, skip it. Don't list it for me. And then org agenda overriding header. What is the header for that particular section of my agenda view? So if tags priority A, I want the header to read high priority unfinished task, colon. And then for priority B, medium priority unfinished tasks. And specify unfinished tasks because if they're marked as done, of course, they'll no longer appear. And then priority C, low priority unfinished tags. And then we also have two other sections, the standard agenda section, right? That 10-day kind of uh, outlook for my next week and a half or whatever. And then the next section will be all to do, one word. All to do means it just a, give me a list of all of my to do items. So we're going to have five different sections to my org agenda now. And one thing I should also mention is I specified a key binding for this new custom org agenda view. I uh, use the key binding V. So when you do space O capital A for the agenda menu, you should see a, an entry for the key binding V as well. And I gave it a description, a better agenda view. So now let me write that. So now I also need to reload my Doom Emacs config because I changed the config.org here. So space HRR will restart Doom Emacs with this new config. And the config has reloaded successfully, so there were no errors. So space O capital A gets me the agenda view. 
And now I have the entry V for a better agenda view. Well, let's check it out. So that is my new org agenda view. And you can see high priority tasks, and you can see the three high priority tasks are here. Medium priority tasks, and I had two of them. Uh, it also included the headers, the, the top level headers, because if you don't specify a, a particular header uh, in, in an agenda view with a priority, it assumes it's medium priority. That's kind of the default, so I need to go back and actually fix that. Then you have the low priority unfinished tasks, and then you have your standard 10-day agenda, and then the global list of all to-do items. So this is everything, all the to-do items in one list, not split up in any sort of way. So let me do a space WV here for a vertical split, because what I want to do is I want to go back into my agenda.org, since I I need to set a priority for these top level headers, this and this and this, because by default all of these will be medium priority, uh, level B priority, but I probably need to go ahead and make that priority A. That one will need to be priority B, and that one will need to be priority C. Now let me write that. Now let me get back into this other split here. And I'm going to go ahead and space BK to kill that buffer. And I'm going to relaunch it, space O, capital A, V. And now, yeah, now they are in the uh, correct place as far as the top level headers. You can see the high priority to do items, medium priority to do items, low priority to do items. You can see the sections by default, they are separated uh, by like an equal sign that goes across. Uh, now you can specify the separator character. It can be any standard keyboard character. It can be any kind of Unicode glyph or even emojis. Uh, Emacs has support for pretty much all of that. As long as whatever font you're using supports that particular character, you can use it as a separator. So if I go back to my config.org, I mean, let me show you how we can do this. Let me close that window again. So in my org agenda section here, I mean, I could do a new set queue. And maybe what I want to do is org agenda block separator. And yes, I had to look up that particular variable. And the default character is 61. 61 is just uh, in Emacs characters, uh, keyboard characters, they can be the actual character on the keyboard. They can also be assigned numbers as well. 61 is actually the equal sign. If you wanted to verify that, I, I could type an equal sign here. And now that my cursor is on it, there's actually uh, a function in Emacs for describe character. And you can see Doom Emacs has that uh, for a key binding space H and then a single apostrophe. But if I describe that character, because my cursor, remember, was on the equal sign, you actually will get this right here, the second line that's in the parentheses. You got three different values. You got 61, the numeral, and then you got a couple of hex values. These all work as a, a substitute for equals. So Emacs understands all three of those codes, but uh, it just is easier sometimes to work with the numbers. Let me kill that split there. So instead of the equal sign, if you wanted that separator to be, I don't know, maybe a dash, again, just type a dash. And if I did space H apostrophe, you know, it will tell me what the appropriate values for a, a dash or a hyphen are. You can see and that is the numeral 45 is what that would be. So if I change 61 to 45, write that space HRR to restart Zoom Emacs. And now space O, capital A, V. And now instead of the equals, we have dashes as separators. So let me kill that buffer. One of the things I uh, played around with was some special glyphs and emojis. And I found this one here worked for me. 8,411, this particular glyph here, space HRR. What this is, is like three dots in a row, but they're not... Uh, they're, they're toward the top of the line. They were some kind of special glyph, but I thought worked really well here. So if I do space O, capital A, V, and you can see that is a nice separator, especially because by default, you know, it's a blank line and then the glyph or whatever character you're using and by having these special dots at the top, it's almost like an overline, a dotted overline, uh, because 
if it's a, a standard like underline, it would be right up against like the 10 day agenda here in this case. And it looks kind of odd. So it, that actually makes the spacing a little easier on that glyph. So I think I'm going to keep that. I also mentioned that you could change the symbols, the icons for your A priority, B priority, C priority. Let me show you how to do that. So uh, we've already got this new code block here. So I'll just separate this out a little bit and I'll do a quick copy and paste here but what I've done is I've added these uh, variables here org fancy priorities list so this is your priorities and fancy priorities is a package that allows you to put any kind of symbol or whatever in front of the items based on priority now the default values for your priorities is typically a b and c wrapped in uh, brackets so I put that here kind of as a default look and then you can actually specify the colors for them as well using the org priority faces tag and then you specify foreground color and weight I'm gonna make them bold now that I've done that let me write that space H R R to reload our new config and restart do Max. Then space O capital A V to go back to our agenda view and now you can see high priority items now have the A it's a red A because I specified that B has a green B and then C as a purple C. That's nice, but you know, for high priority items, I might want something that stands out a little more than just a, a capital A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change that. Let me go ahead and paste this colored emoji here. So this, of course, is a red exclamation. And this hopefully works as I expect it to. Now that we've reloaded our config, space O, capital A, V, for my new org agenda view, and you can see the high priority items, that really stands out, that red exclamation. So, yeah, I like that. Space B, K, to kill that buffer. One thing I thought about doing is I, I kind of like having just a square box. It, it's plain. It's it's simple. You know, I thought about doing something like having three colored uh, emojis as far as boxes. Red obviously would be the highest priority. Orange, medium, and then yellow would be a low priority. So uh, that might be what I do. Let me go to the beginning of this line. I'm going to comment that out and I'll use these new symbols. So space HRR to restart Doom Emacs. Then space O capital A V once again. And yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with because honestly, I kind of like the look of that. That's very clean. High priority tasks, medium priority tasks, low priority tasks, our 10 day agenda, and then a global list of everything kind of mixed up. One other thing I did want to show you, let me space BK to kill that buffer, is if you didn't want to do uh, just tags for A, B, and C, maybe you had custom tags that you were using, you could do that as well. For example, uh, let me space FR for recent files and agenda.org. And let's create a new section here. So I'll do custom tags and I'll create a new to do item, this to do item. And I'm going to say custom to do item. And I'm going to give it this tag all one word custom tag wrapped in colons right so i think i added oh an extra space there so now i'm gonna have this item it's gonna have a custom tag let me write that space bp for buffer previous to go back here and then all i need to do is just create a new section here so what i'll do is i'll just copy all of that and tags in this case will simply be custom tag all one word and then we need to create a overriding header and I'm going to say task marked with custom tag colon. Let's write that space HRR now space O capital A and V. And now I have high priority tasks, medium priority tasks, low priority tasks and tasks marked with custom tag. Right. So that is pretty cool. And of course, from here, you could highlight an item or just put the cursor on an item. Hit T for task, essentially. And, you know, I've got to do blog, gym, project, video. But I can also go ahead and mark things as either done or cancel a task here. For example, this video, I'm, I'm recording it right now. It's essentially done. I could go ahead and hit D on the keyboard 
to mark that as done. But, you know, that's just standard org agenda kind of stuff. I've shown some of that on video before. So that's just a little bit of how you can customize your org agenda view. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and uh, push my new config over to my dot file. So I get back into my config.org. You're actually going to see this new org agenda section in my config. And you guys can go ahead and, and play with it edit it. Uh, you obviously you may have to do some customization for different custom tags that you want to use. Maybe you don't want to use the same separator I was using. Maybe you don't want to use the same colored emojis for the priority listings or whatever. Obviously you take my config, you configure it, you rework it to your heart's content and hopefully you come up with something that you know pleases you for me this is actually kind of a nice kind of scheduling application that i think i could work with now before i go i need to thank a few special people i need to thank the producers of this episode and of course i'm talking about brian gabe james matt maxim mimit mitchell paul s y ball homie alex armor dragon chuck commander angry dioka george lee marstrom nader Hyan, alexander paul peace watching fedora polytech realities for less red prophet roland steven tools devler and willie these guys they're my highest tiered patrons over on patreon without these guys this episode would not have been possible the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen all these names you're seeing on the screen right now these are all my supporters over on patreon because i don't have any corporate sponsors i'm sponsored by you guys the community if you like my work and want to see more videos about linux and free and open source software and emacs subscribe to distrotube over on patreon peace let's add a to-do item for this evening pick up some beer